Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. I was wondering what to do for a video today because I haven't got any new ships to show you. Um, so yeah, what I thought is I'd show you the nearest thing I could to a new ship. Now, as you're aware, the Valyag campaign is going on at the moment. So hopefully you've uh, completed part one or very near to completing it because uh, I believe it's next Thursday so it would have been yesterday when you watched this. Um, the second part of the campaign starts which is cool because hopefully we can get that finished and get a free tier 3 boat that will probably resemble this quite closely I feel. Um, this is the Oleg. Now the Oleg, uh, the Aurora, uh, the Aurora isn't a Bogatir class, but mm, near as damn it. Uh, the Bogatir, of course, you see at the uh, the front here this line of the the prow of the ship. If we look on the Oleg, exactly the same. The Aurora, not so much. Slightly different. Um, slightly different class of cruiser. And of course, the Diana uh, is the same as the Aurora. Now, all of these are low tier Russian cruisers. Yes. Um, the Diana, tier 2, uh, but the Aurora is tier 3. So, there are at present, to my knowledge, three tier 3 cruisers in the game. There's about to be the fourth which is the Valyag, which I think is probably going to resemble this. It may look a little bit different, but um, yeah, we're, go we're going to look at it anyway. The Oleg. Uh, I'll do a video on the Valyag when I get it, but uh, yeah, the Oleg. Um, now, the Oleg, being a Bogatir class, if you've played the Bogatir, you'll know. Okay? Um, but uh, we'll run through the stats on this anyway. Uh, armor layout, she's a protected cruiser, so she does have a little bit of armor. Um, you know, not a huge amount, but you've got you've got some armor. Uh, it doesn't go all of that high, but you know, armor. So survivability-wise, we have 24,100. Uh, you compare that to the Bogatir, it's 20,500, and that is that's not fully upgraded that can go at 23,000 so yeah she's, she's not bad she's got some good armor uh, artillery wise 8 single mounted 152's and 2 twin mounted 152's uh, 2700 maximum AP 2100 maximum HE damage 7% fire chance but the captain's got some skills that will affect that um, secondary armament, we have 12 single 75mm guns now. They shoot out to an amazing 2.5km. Uh, secondary guns at tier 3 are pretty unusual. 2.5km, um, 5% fire chance, 1500 max HE damage. So, yeah, you've got a few, 6 each side. Anything gets too close, you'll be pew 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 with them. You might get a fire if you're lucky. Uh, main battery firing range is... 10.8 kilometers yeah mm. 10.8 it's not very far but it is only tier 3 don't forget that and you'll see here the captain has got IFHE uh, demolition expert uh, oh, I can never remember the name of this one preventative maintenance that's it and adrenaline rush so yeah captain's got a few skills here uh, maximum speed 24 knots, 450 meter turning circle and a rudder shift of 7.1 I believe the Vyag is getting 6.6 .6, which is pretty good what's the Bogatir? Bogatir is 8.4 but that will probably improve with the uh, do 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 yeah probably improves with the uh, the B hole there so okay so we're kind of on a par really kind of on a par concealment wise 10 kilometers uh, there's no 
concealment expert on this but it does have the, the stock camo so you know you can get that down to 10 kilometers with uh, a coat of paint 5.7 by air uh, proximity spot is two kilometers in any boat and 4.6 if you fire your guns whilst in smoke you will notice no AA at all so bear that in mind you are only in tier 3 boat though so yeah with any luck you'll stay in the majority of battles you'll be away from aircraft carriers because they start at tier 4 so we've stuck a uh, damage con 2 on there just because you should always go out with damage con 2 um, exterior wise uh, we could mess around with loads of flags but I'm just going to go for the economy ones not worth doing the ship XP because it's a uh, premium boat so why would you you know unless you want to pay to convert it why would you do that um, so there we go that is all ready to go so let's take her out into a co-op now it's tier 3 okay let's not get excited about the standard of gameplay at tier 3 it isn't that high these are new players so let's be nice um, so we've got tier 2 3 match which is nice we've got uh, Umikaze G101 as your destroyers I'm actually more worried about the uh, G101 than I am about the Umikaze because of the front firing torpedoes Got a Chikuma, Dresden, Chester, us in the Oleg, Kohlberg, and then Battleship Koachi. So, yeah. Let's take the Russian beastie out. Old Oleg there. His eagle on his bum. Yeah, right. 20 odd knots in this is not bad. It isn't bad. And yeah, somebody said thank you. Uh, that was us. <laughs> right, let's, let's take her out and let's see what we can do. Now, the guns don't turn all that quickly. You know, you'd be used to that if you've taken the Bogatier out. I didn't mind the Bogatier actually. I didn't mind her. You know, as uh, low tier boats go, she wasn't that painful to. Uh, to get through. Yeah, we've got and we have an idiot already. Really? Donkey. Right, let's see. Not even a sorry. No. Hmm. I commented on this in my last video. Um and yeah unfortunately the weekends really aren't a great time to play this game. You know, it's like everyone gets hold of their dad's account or something and then takes the ship out. Mm. Although, being in the ship that I'm in, the mighty Oleg, uh, this Dresden, I don't know if he's looking where he's going, so I'm just going to turn out the way here. We've got the G101 who is dropping smoke, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's give them a hard time. Yeah, but uh, like I say, taking uh, a ship out that's a little bit unusual, um, you can attract attention in it. And the Oleg is not a ship you see very often. She's a bit of a rare beastie. Same with the, you know, you take the Tashi Banner or the Smith out, or, uh, I don't know, maybe some of the uh, boats like the Arkansas Beta, for example. You, know, you take her out and people are like, wow, what's that? How do I get that boat? Right, so, that's one destroyer down. Here comes the other one. This is the Umakazi. So we need to uh, take her down as quickly as possible. Preferably take out the torps. 
change our speed, change our heading, do everything we can. There goes the ship's engine. Yeah, do everything we can to try and mitigate torpedoes, which will have been launched. Okay, that boat is now done. Oh, well, it would be if the guns could keep up with our turning. There we go. So, we've got a Carlsberg over here. Should really try and get some AP into him, but... G101, I don't know what he's doing. He's silly. Oh, he's trying to launch his torps, okay, fair enough. And now we've got a Chester over here. Old Uncle Chester, right. A Chester again, it's not a bad boat, low tier. Well, we are heading towards solid stuff, Mr. Random Captain. Yep, we pulled a knot, sir. Marvellous. How do you miss torpedoes from that close? That's impressive. And now we've got a uh, HMS Dreadful over here. Let's get our rudder shifted. So hopefully we are not going to... Yeah, we are just going to ground again. I think. Let's get shots into this one. go and we have an Oleg over here ah oh, Mr. Oleg how are you sir now you see there we got two pens but we also got three bounces so the Oleg's armor is not that bad so aim for it as if you would any other ship you know if you can't hit the boat, hit the superstructure, and then we have Kawachi Sun over here. So let's line up and see if we can get a decent superstructure hit on Kawachi before we clear the barrels. Yeah, 15.26, not great, but it's not terrible either. So we could go for the glory of the Soviet Union here. Imperial Russian Navy and yeah you know what's coming if we can get there it's going to be glorious I'm not even worried about repairing let's see if we can do it can we do it can we do it we should be able to um, yes glorious <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Yeah, finishing style. So, uh, 35,189 damage, 60 shell hits, 4 incapacitations, 2 boats sunk, 1 fire, 1 flood, 9 target hits. Yep, I got a flood, that was with the ram. Um, 41,122 credits, 404 XP, 84 free XP. It's a tier 3, so let's not get too excited over the numbers. Team score top of the tree um, yeah because well if I wasn't at least in the top two I'd really worry down here and if I was second then somebody was seal clubbing um, detail report yeah not bad eh? not bad at all so we got uh, 1614 ramming damage yes strong boot and credits and XP not running a uh, premium account at the moment because I'm only on here for one day this weekend so didn't seem worth it um, so 539 commander XP and 37997 take home for the credits so that is kind of what to expect I think with the Varyag uh, which I'm guessing that the more prolific gamers among you will probably have Thursday the day before this comes out so you can look at what you've got compare it to this 
and then leave a comment as to uh, how close I was because I think this is going to be kind of pretty similar pretty similar indeed anyway I do hope you enjoyed guys if you did you know what to do the old like button loves a tickle if you're new to the channel then why not subscribe uh, the button's just there don't forget to tick the bell icon next to it so you get a notification when a video, video goes up even that's easy for me to say and uh, yeah don't forget to leave me a comment on uh, how close I was mm, is the Oleg and the Vyag a very similar deal I believe it will be but we'll see let me know anyway I think that's quite enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys uh, but for now comrade captain random is signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one